What do y'all think the next movie is gonna be? Cooler. You don't, Cooler. You, 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 you don't know, Brandon? You don't care? Cooler. At this point, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I I'm mean, cool, cool, Frieza, no brother. Sus suspicious, you know. Could suspect it. I mean, Frieza is the, uh, the new big bad again. So. I love hearing that. Frieza is big the bad. new big bad. Some people still don't understand how he he's as strong as he is. Because, like... Cause, Cause they're not thinking. Cause uh, which of a color? Like, Thank you. like Nick, like Nick for example. Shout out, man's Nick, future Superman. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Future Superman twelve type shit. This man, this man finally caught up with the manga and everything, and he actually wanted to be on the podcast. Like, I forgot to ask you about that shit. Maybe, maybe another time though. But <laughs> cause he has words he wants to say, but he, don't he kinda, listen. If he, he listens to this episode, if he listens to this fucking episode, he better he he, he better be prepared. He better formulate his fucking sentence correct, cause I will put him on blast, son. <laughs> okay, cause okay. it's different. I know him, so I could, I could, I could talk this shit right then and there. I'll be like, listen, you're not a YouTube comment. You're an actual family friend, so you're not, you're not about to fucking come into my house like this <laughs> with some head ass. All right. So he, he's, he's warned. Coming to my house with some head ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not because like I was trying to explain to him how Frieza is literally a fucking crazy ass mutant that literally was described as if he takes training seriously, he like he his power grows like fucking number one, fucking crazy. <laughs> like, so what was he saying? Not because he was basically trying to just say like he he doesn't understand how Frieza is as strong as he is because Goku and Vegeta have been training with. Weiss and Beerus, so he believes that training with the gods essentially, sh they like they should be able to at least give Frieza a fight with his new form. Just be like, he just doesn't understand that Frieza's like Frieza's like that essentially, and he put ten years in no matter what. Like it was a, in the hyper, it was in the fucking chamber, bro. We're in another realm, as he as he said. You yeah. Know? So like, I don't really think the concept's hard to understand. It, 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 when you when you say it that way, because Goku, and, right. Goku and Vegeta are just they're Saiyans, so obviously Saiyans grow and they grow as they fight, etc. But this nigga's a mutant, so like, you know, like it's a little different on how that works on the power scaling, I guess. Especially if he All takes right, training, so that, so you could take it out. You could take it out. That that is a that that's a great fucking opener talking about Frieza and his new form and everything because that is exactly one of the two things I wanted to discuss. Okay. So we already went over this. We already went over the chapter. We already discussed Frieza, his new form, Black Frieza, the, the fact that he, you know, it only took him four months to go gold, so ten years. Y'all got him fucked up. Don't forget that. Right. But what I what I wanted to discuss, like here we go, right? <clears throat> Episode 69. Oh. Talk about that little yin yang, right? Mm. Let's talk about the yin yang we have with our co ops, Goku and Vegeta. How much have they been training? How much have they learned? How much have they progressed since, you know, the end of the Broly film? They, the time they last saw Frieza. Until they, you know, maybe actually us, who knows? <laughs> but, um, they've, they've learned a lot. They've been through a lot. And when you think about it, we talked about all fight, right? You know, Goku stacking forms, <laughs> oh fucking my. Super Saiyan Blue, all this other stuff. I'm not letting fight. it go. But um, we talked about him stacking, you know, Super Saiyan Blue with Kyle Ken, him stacking Super Saiyan Blue with Ultra Instinct, like things like that. And now he's at the point where he's got Susano Goku. Right. And now he's, you know, Vegeta's got his spirit control and then he, I guess, can't do it anymore. He forgot. <laughs> they forgot about it. Yeah, they forgot about it. He, he has instant transmission, right? He... You know, we have Goku understanding who Kakarai is, all this crazy shit, right? So you can uh, you can just fill in your knowledge from all the other talks we've had and things like that, right? So all the shit they've been through. And what is Goku's real power with, like, UI? It's this mastery of, you know, like, no thinking, just dodging. Now that's, you know, like, this mastered white hair shit because now we have something new. So put that to the side. Right. So we have the white hair mastered Ultra Instinct. That is, you know, autonom an autonomous dodging feature. And he's also really good offensively with it. He's just autonomous, like, offensive abilities, too. Vegeta, his ultra ego. 
he can just eat shit. He can just take hits and profit. Like, literally, if you damage this man, you are making him stronger. You are just buffing him Acqu- by hitting According him. to what he says, yeah. Right. And, I mean, we saw it work for a time. But, of course, there's a limit to everyone's power, right? That's just how it goes. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, but, you know, for Goku, who doesn't even have to think and can dodge. And for Vegeta, who, when he takes damage... And we've seen him take all kinds of damage. We've seen Vegeta on the brink of death still fighting back because that's who he is. He has that fighter inside of him. He has that fire. So for someone for someone like him to just get punked like he does on the regular is fucking wild. But we always see him giving a good shot even when uh, even when he is <laughs> down and about to be out, right? He always he always gives it his best despite his poor writers. And the point I'm trying to get at here is that both of those forms got duffed. Yep. One punched. Saitama. Like they detransformed before they even hit the ground. Fact. Vegeta did not absorb any type of damage. He just conked out. Yeet. Got him. Goku didn't even see that shit coming. Nope. Nope. Oh, that they is. They all slept. Yeah. Like, pe- like, people just got to think. Like you said. Like, like, you need to realize the gap that is there right now. That is astronomical. Yeah, no. It's, yeah. It's a crazy gap. A like, crazy gap. I, you know, I thought about this, right? And I'm so glad that, you know, because power scalers still exist, but like real power scalers, like, I'm talking the people that try to act like put numbers to this shit listen you can't it's not a numbers there's thing. there's no there's a reason why the the, the series it's st- itself stopped fucking with numbers because they really like, clearly er, way early on they were like you know what there's no point this is out of control yeah it's at it's full power out of control on some fpp shit and there there's realistically no reason why we should try to confuse the audience or expect them to just keep up with all these fucking numbers. Because, I mean, granted, Yu-Gi-Oh! definitely taught me math. <laughs> but I, would, I don't want Dragon Ball to teach me anything past a trillion. A trillion, quintillion, fucking... Z- no. I don't want to know any of that shit because it's fucking pointless. There's... When am I ever going to see or ever hear about numbers like that? So they moved. They moved to something else you can understand. I mean, People are, it's easy to understand numbers, but you know what's easier than numbers? Colors. Colors. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know. Like the, num- like, the whole scouter shit, like, that was a cool concept, like, to start the show and shit like For that. For sure. To kind of introduce power scaling and everything to like that. To introduce how but weak once, humans are. Yeah, but once, like, once they started really, um, how do I want to put it? Like, once they started really introducing just, like, power-ups in general, then it was starting to kind of get out of control. In a sense to where, like, it's not really controllable. So it's like, it's like they had to let it go. Or, you know, that that's where the, the trend, the nine, over 9,000 shit started, you know what right, I mean? So it's like, right. so it's like, I mean, that was, that was smart on them, honestly, to be honest. Like, yeah. Yeah, so, like... But yeah, they change from numbers to colors, and then, you know, but things like hair color don't matter, so <sighs> these numbers don't matter, Toriyama. and that's the point they're trying to make, is just enjoy it, don't think about it too hard, because they're going to write it however the fuck they want to write it, and you're going to have to hold that. You know, you know what, you know what I want to hold? I, 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 don't, I don't even want, no, but listen, 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 listen. That's not, this is no joke, this is, I'm being dead ass right now. I just thought of a fucking create, a great scenario. That would really, I, people would probably be like, "What's wrong with you, right?" But I feel like I feel like you would fuck with this too, Brandon. I think you might fuck with this too, okay, dude. So you see how they're? It's almost like they're hitting the reset button, low key, right? It's like a soft reset in a sense, right? Because God key was a soft reset. Right, well, right, right, and and we thought that you know, because when you introduce God shit in the conversation everything is just like whoa right like 
what's a, what's a beyond the gods nothing right it's just it's just it like you know like that's they they got to be the top of the top right like no one's gonna be able to touch them and then look what happens they encounter other beings that fuck them up and it takes a multitude of them to just handle one person aka jiren aka broly you know aka moro you know what i'm saying like and gat like the list goes on there's always going to be somebody else that's going to give them a problem despite having <laughs> god key god powers abilities techniques whatever all that access almost becomes pointless so i just came up with a crazy thought that if we're going to be resetting uh, in a sense right and resetting by the means of hey goku has mastered ultra instinct but that shit doesn't matter vegeta has ultra ego but that shit doesn't matter gohan is a beast that shit can go back into the dog cage and piccolo <laughs> is fucking orange right listen i'm not gonna shit on piccolo because i respect piccolo okay so he, he, he doesn't get a joke right and we'll leave it at that <laughs> okay all right, okay all right but frieza is a character that has now not even um it, frieza has reminded everybody that he is the shit and y'all need to realize that as the emperor as the dude who is supposedly like ruling everybody else he's he's gonna conquer planets he's gonna do all that shit again right he was as strong as he was then he got he got toppled because he was he did not take any of his shit seriously he just used his raw talent to get as far as he did then he comes back four months golden he's gold in four months that rivaled super saiyan blues still lost because it wasn't all the way prepped well my man got 10 years in the chamber the room of time and spirit, whatever the fuck you want to call it, doesn't matter. Hyperbolic time chamber, doesn't matter. Ten years trained. And he showed us Black Frieza. Black Frieza took out the two people that Kai mentioned. With their fucking up-to-date, strongest forms that we've ever seen before. So you mean to tell me that that's it? And their synergies, like they could have done something together without thinking. Listen, too, he took not. he took their synergies and said, "Yeet." He said, "What synergy? You could hold both of my fucking my 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 fists right here because that's what they did. Their guts held Frieza's fucking strikes, and they powered down to nothing in an instant." So here's what I think, and here's a here's the idea. And this this is, this is the part where people are gonna be like, "What the hell's wrong with you, bro?" I want the story to progress however it's going to progress where they're going to start building up all the characters and, you know, Pan, Oob, all that shit, right? I want them to just, the whole point of Dragon Ball now is to eventually get to the point where they can defeat Frieza again. But obviously, along that road, they're going to encounter a bunch of roadblocks with, you know, other strong characters and villains or whatever, threats you know, oppositions, tournaments, whatever. It'll feel like an anime, a real fucking anime, right? Where there's a goal in mind, there's struggle, there's a lot of shit that goes on in between, and then they get to the dance. And Frieza's like, okay, I'll fight y'all. And he says, y'all, not one, y'all. Go, no, 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 I want this one. No, 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 Frieza says, no. I want to fight all of you right now now you know what he does he still fucks them up he still fucks them up even when they get close do you do you think freeze okay Holy i'm not even shit. done i'm not even done check this nah wait a minute go ahead go ahead i suspect I'll something like this going <laughs> listen 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 I suspect frieza fu no, frieza no. fucks them up so hard right i mean frieza makes them think that they're coming close and then he goes white Frieza. And then it's over. They're all done. Frieza wins again. And he proves a point. No matter what you try to do, I will always be the strongest. And there you go. 
Dragon Ball becomes infinitely more se more serious and more interesting because we're so used to Goku and the Vegeta show from Super. We're so used to Goku handling it. We're used to, we're used to some up some other crazy like person like Gohan or whatever like 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 being the one for five minutes. Yo, when have we ever had such a like? This would out dominate all other villains that we thought were fucking trouble. Majin Buu was a problem. Cell was a problem. They were all a problem. Everybody has. They were all problems. All of them. Even the Jiren was a problem. He wasn't a villain, but he was still a problem. Frieza had. This is the chance for them to fucking write Frieza as the greatest villain in anime. This. This is their time to really say, "Oh, Aizen, nah. Fucking Madara, nah." Frieza. This is their chance to make Frieza the fu to indefinitely make this motherfucker the strongest and to stay up on top. It is going to take them like and so that way by the time whenever they actually do figure out a way to fucking beat this guy, it's so it has so much meaning that at that point Dragon Ball's done. Cuz if they were to fucking continue it after that, holy shit. They they'd have to they'd have to truly reboot it at like some like it would have to take place a thousand years in the future, and it would be like a new Goku or and, and all of it all of it was new. It would like none of the characters would have to would would truly be the same. Like it would be like on some like like on some futuristic like shit where it's like you see the characters. Like, you know who Krillin is, you know who Vegeta is, and Trunks, and, and Tien, and Yamcha, Pickle. Like, all those characters by name, and maybe even physical features, would be there. But it's not them. Because it's the descendants from fucking thousands. At that point, because obviously Dragon Ball is too popular. At that fucking point, that is when they have to fucking do a crazy reboot. Because, dude, Dragon Ball is making this money off of no fucking effort. Right now... The way they're handling it, they are Frieza. They are Frieza. They're not trying. They're not putting in no marketing. They're not putting in nothing for this fucking late, the latest movie. They're just doing it. They just say, hey, yeah, we got it. Boom. North America, we're not going to give you this movie for two months. Why? Don't know. This is how we're going to do it. And look how much money. We're fucking shitting on them in, the, in, in, in making them all this extra dough. Right? This is their time, bro. I want Frieza to be the fucking best. The best. And that shit would be crazy. And you know what? I'll go a step further. I will go a step further. You want to know one of the roadblocks that I want Frieza to fucking give them? I want them to bring Goku black. Because he's going to have the black gang, son. He's going to come out here with the full force. He's going to cause all the problems. All the problems just so that they could feel like, oh, if we can if we can defeat them, we have to be able to defeat Frieza. Dude, I want Frieza to gain so much fucking knowledge on all the shit that they've been through to spite them. To fucking be like, oh, they have problems with this, with this, and this. Oh, oh, so I could, mm, Super Dragon Balls? Let me go find the Super Dragon Balls. Let me go wish back this fucking universe right now. So that way, there's a Goku Black just chilling there. Like, I don't even like the Saiyans, but you... I know you're not actually a Saiyan. You're just using his body. I want all that shit to fucking happen. Did you did you see the lines that they made him say in Xenoverse? No. Nah. He was mad racist with the shit. Like Frieza <laughs> saw Goku black, like and you know saw Goku's face, and he's like, "Must I be subjected to the face of that?" <laughs> ah. <laughs> like he got he got so tight. Yeah. Nah. See that that's what I'm saying. Like, give me. Give me shit like this. This is how you take. That'd be crazy. This is how you. That'd be, it's way. That's way too out of control, though. They're not. There's. Of course, they're not gonna they do it. I mean, we, they don't, we don't. We they don't, don't write that we, well. We honestly don't know at what point, like, like they're gonna refight Frieza again. And like, I understand that it would make sense for them to actually lose again. But then, at like, what point would Frieza? Take it to the next level of like killing somebody, like whether it be like a Goku or Vegeta. He can like, do whatever he wants. Exactly my point though, because like, th like the first encounter, like he kind of let them off loose, or you know, he, he kind of let them off of like a, I guess I'll put a, like a warning. But it's like the next time I don't see him 
given warnings again. I feel like he'll kill, he'll nah, kill he one of them. he pulled up and he said, check yourself before you wreck yourself so, and said, dude. So, like, the next time they fight, they're gonna have to be prepared. Unless, like, they both damage each other to a certain extent where they both have to flee. Like, Frieza flees and then, like, Z Fighters fucking... Decide. Yeah, no, I don't see that shit happening, though. But, like, shit... I don't know. I don't know, dude. The reason why I'm I, I I even say half of that, or not the reason why I say all of it. I also want to point out that the way the way they can like really make like like okay, so you 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 have a good point. Like, what would what what would prevent Frieza next time they, they he comes around to just kill them, right? It's pity, he's petty. Yeah, I get Fre- that. Frieza could literally take all the L's that he ever held, and literally just fuck with he could them literally yeah he could tell them i'm gonna pay you back for every L yes. you made me took before he i kill you yo no that. wait wait wait. okay you want to uh, speaking of paying back dude what it yo this would be crazy and i, I wouldn't even want to see this happen because this would hurt me but dude what if he no, fi- no, no 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 let me say it, let me say it, let me say it, because i was going to say this earlier i was going to say do you think that frieza is going to make an example he's going to display his power on someone way too strong and it's going to be the first time in history we saw one versus one and broly didn't come out on top okay i wasn't gonna say that you but that yeah bro. that's even worse yeah, that's, that's even worse. That's crazy, bro. If he you takes know, it out, know, oh. I would argue. I would argue that because I, I, I think of it. I think of it happening one of two ways. If it happened, I think it happening one of two ways. Broly goes out of control, or whatever, and then Frieza could, you know, just easily just handle that, and they'll be like, damn, and they'll like reconsider even like fucking with him in the first place. But at that point, it's too late. Whatever, done. The second way I think is a little more reasonable for his character. I feel like you know Broly can go out of control. Here we go, and Frieza can look at him. And do some wild shit, like power down even and be like, hmm, I remember you and your power. I have something special for you. And whip out some of his psychic shit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That shit yo, if he yeah. gets yo, if he recruits Broly forcefully, OD. I would yes. I would rather that. Keep my man alive, please. Don't kill him. <laughs> that's that's what I, that's what I'm saying though. Like that shit. No, but see, okay, the the thing I was gonna say before. On some petty shit, right? If he if he's trying to be as petty as possible, and he's trying to he has the receipts, dude, and he gains his he knowledge, the dude, he gains his knowledge about all the shit they've been through. Listen, he fucking finds where Trunks is at. He gets Trunks. He gets both of them because you know how Trunks is in a universe where there's two Trunks now, as him and another one. He gets both of them. He and then he he presents himself before Vegeta and fucking kills both trunks. Nah, bro, that's fucking. I don't see that happening. But yo, I don't see it happening. But listen, think of the weight and the effect that, that it would have. Detrimental, bro. Dude, bro, that like it would be worse than killing Krillin again. Type <laughs> shit, yo, if, that's what I'm saying. If he went, if he went to go after like, if he went to go after trunks or something like that, then it's an example. At that point. At that point, I would I would need to see Black again for his actual defeat because we we discussed dude, this. that nigga got written out. Dude, Write him back in because if I'm y'all want to make Frieza menace, and that was something people were saying a long ass time ago, like I don't care what duo y'all niggas talk about in anywhere anywhere at all, Frieza and Goku Black, death. That's a that's first that's a, that's a fucking <laughs> that's literally a. That's the weirdest shit ever, but it's still death. That's a duel I never would have imagined, just I, I, because yo, I, they were like on polar opposite ends of, like. Nah, cause like when Frieza when Frieza went crazy with his like with his golden shit and he like perfected it like both sides of it right before the top. That's when people were like really started talking about it, cause like yeah. yo these two are out of control. Right. Cause Frieza's always been the big bad. We know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Goku Black's also the only villain to not take an L, so it's like. That's a pretty big feat. So yeah. people were talking about like, yo, like what ifs? That's a big what if. That's a big. That's what a if. really big what if. That's a that's a hot take what if. But um, but yeah, it would be nasty for sure. Oh, that's that good shit. 